We've got a very highly anticipated series between the best team record-wise in the American League and the reigning World Series champs, and Framber is not going to throw a no-hitter tonight because Ryan Mountcastle goes 472. That's one of the furthest homers that the Orioles have ever hit in StatCast. If I worked for the Orioles, I'd get suspended for saying that, but then Adley in the bottom of the second is going to continue the onslaught on Framber Valdez, who, although he threw the no-hitter, he has had some struggling starts the last month or so, so it's going to be 5 nothing O's, and Grayson Rodriguez was on the mound. It was bases loaded here. Kyle Tucker, though, he's going to sneak one through. He's going to get the Astros on the board. 5-0 is a big lead, but when you're facing the Astros, nothing is safe. But Grayson Rodriguez, G-Rod, he struggled at the start of the year, got sent down to AAA, and he has really been locked in ever since. Look at that slider, just perfectly placed, getting them out of a bases loaded jam. When he's locating his fastball 100 plus miles per hour at the top of the zone, sitting like 98, and then can rip off that slider there with a good changeup as well and he's been nasty but then in the top of the ninth just one of the more impressive at bats I've seen and just series of at bats against Felix Bautista the best closer in the league it's a go-ahead grand slam by Kyle Tucker, but that was in a long at-bat too. Not only did he battle that at-bat, but John Singleton, the nine-hitter, started the inning. And Jose Altuve, bloop single, Jordan hit one off the wall, and then Kyle Tucker, go-ahead grand slam. That's a tough pill to swallow for, for Orioles fans to start the series. They hit around Framber Valdez, Grayson Rodriguez threw a gem. Then they handed a three-run lead in the ninth to Felix Bautista. They win that game, you see him like 10 times out of 10, but not tonight as leave it up to the Astros to be the team to get to Bautista. You can see the win probability when Bautista was coming in with a three-run lead. They gave them a 97% win probability, but the Astros find ways to win, and Kyle Tucker won that bat that was.